Hi everyone, how are you doing today? I wanted to come on really quickly to give this word because I was blessed. I saw many comments last night. I was reading through the comments and I'm like, praise God. You know, your people are receiving this word. That's wonderful. And then I came across a question about, okay, so how and when? And so I wanted to speak to that. I touched on this really quickly in a prior video. I believe it was the video entitled, um, there's a famine in the land. I spoke about the how and the when. And let me just preface this by saying that I don't know it all. Okay. I'm just a messenger. And my job is to just, you know, make these videos based on when the Lord you know, tells me to. And when he gives me a word, I come on here and I give it to you all. But I'm learning. To, I'm learning. I'm hearing from God just like everybody else. So again, um, I don't have all the answers. I don't have all the answers, but I do have a word from the Lord. I have a general word, a general prophecy from the Lord for just a time as this, and it's about our inheritance. This is an inheritance that has been stored up for us that God wants us to tap into. And let me also say this, I don't want us to get caught up on the verbiage or the language of it all. I don't want us to be like, oh, it's not called, it's called the reset. It's called the wealth transfer. It's called our inheritance. Whatever it's called, let's not get caught up on that. God is trying to wake up his people right now to let them know that we do have an inheritance that is stored up in heaven that Jesus Christ already died on the cross for. And he it's, it's the time for those funds, that wealth. And again, wealth is just not about money. It's about peace. It's about prosperity. It's about health. Yes, and it's about riches. But he wants his people to know it is that time and God is releasing it to his people. Because we're going to start going in some dark times, y'all. This world is about to be, you know, set forth and transported into a time in which a lot of people are going to be on bad times. And that's why I ask that we pray for this nation and we pray, pray for everybody around the globe. So the spirit of mammon, the spirit of anxiety, the spirit of death don't overtake people. Because we're going to see a lot of global economies crash within the next couple of months. And unfortunately, because a lot of people worship money and worship the enemy, they're not going to be able to uh, withstand or handle all of the pressure. And so we pray against deception and delusion and um, distress and oppression and depression for, for everybody right now so that's important to say and also before again before i talk about the the when and the how i wanted to say this which is something else i just said in my other video it's a reason why god keeps saying the remnant the remnant and which means a very small quantity of something because at the end of the day just based off of your faith Based off of people's faith, a lot of people are going to be able to receive. Um, you know, I read a few comments and there, it wasn't a lot. Most of, you know, the comments were very encouraging. People were receiving this word. But anytime you get caught up in the small details, if I'm saying, oh, you know, God wants us to buy a house or a car or two and you getting caught up on a car. Yes, a car. God wants you to have a car or two. And you're getting caught up on that. Okay, well then, you know, ride the bus. This word is not for you. <laughs> and that right there proves my point. That although God's heart wants everybody to receive this word, there's just people who just won't have the faith to receive it. And that's okay. This, that's, this means that this word is not for you. The first step of you receiving your inheritance is your faith. And if you can receive the basics of like, this is a season in which God is going to open up the floodgates of heaven that uh, you're not going to have room to receive it. And you don't have faith enough to, do, to believe that. Then this word is just not for you. 
And I continue to pray that God would turn your heart to realize that you're worthy and that you are entitled to inheritance because you are a child of God. All right. So let's go to the uh, the when and the, the how. This is going to start now. This is starting the Jewish, on the Jewish calendar. It's 5783. It's starting now. As you know, we just stepped into uh, the year 5783. And this is going to be a year of much reward. And so I, I'm excited about that and much restoration. Um, and it's going to continue all throughout 2023. And so let me say this. It is not a sprint. This is a marathon. And I don't want us to have a spirit of anxiety of waiting, you know, thinking that, you know, any day now and, and anxious about uh, your checking account. We're not supposed to operate in that spirit because it's going to happen differently for different people. Now, the initial seed, let me just write down what I wrote, uh, what the Holy Spirit told me to write down. It says the wealth transfer will start off with seed. God is releasing seed all throughout this Jewish year, 5783, the seeds will be released. And now the multiplication of the seed depends on your faith, your grace level, which is your capacity, because we all have grace once we receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. We all have grace, but we don't have all the same level of grace. And that's a whole nother word. I'll make a video about that. And it also depends on how much seed you sow. And the reference point for that is the, the parables about the talents and the manna. Um, if you're not familiar with that story, look it up in the Bible. And I'll also do another video about that. In that parable about the talents, the men who sowed the seed into the land, as you did not reap the same harvest. In that story about the, the manna, they didn't receive the same amount of cities for one man he was granted you know five cities to oversee for another man he was granted 10 cities for him to have authority and power over so the how much it varies depending on your faith level and it also depends on your action because faith without action is dead so for some of us you're going to be a thousand there for some of us, you're going to be a millionaire. For some of us, it's, you're going to be a multimillionaire. For some of us, yes, it's, I mean, it's going to be billionaires in, the, in, the, in the, the body of Christ. God is doing the work. Why not billionaires? Why not? There's a lot of work to be done. All of that depends on your faith, your capacity, and your actions. And I'm going to make another video about that. Because that's a long word regarding like sowing and reaping. And grace capacity. And actions. And a lot of it is spiritual. Most of it is going to be mental. Your mindset spiritual. But then we got to be realistic and pragmatic about this. Nobody walks uh, by a garden and expects magically for crops to grow. You must sow a seed in order to see the harvest. So what actions are you going to take ultimately to grow your seed, to multiply the seed in which God is about to give you? And the reason why I said it's, it's a, a marathon and not a sprint, because yes, it's about to happen quickly. That initial seed is about to start rolling in very quickly. I just got a praise report about people receiving checks out of the blue. Okay. Um, things happening with their businesses that God has been telling the people to leave their businesses. And then because of the God, the God gave them a reward and they received extra money through their business. Some of us are going to, um, have authority over cities and land and real estate. It's going to be a beautiful thing. This is a lifelong journey. God says that a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children's children. So when God gives you an initial seed, it's not for you to say, oh, okay, well, I'm done. And, you know, let me live my life and let me, you know, purchase these things. It's okay, now the journey really begins. What are you going to do with the seed and what she's going to give you? How are you going to multiply this seed to ensure that your children's children's children are taken care of if the world, you know, lasts that long, right? So that's where wisdom comes in. 
that's where prayer comes in guys made it very clear and i talked about this in one of my prior videos this is the time in which you need to pray you need to fast over this word and i'm not going to give you the personal strategy god is going to give you the personal strategy god is full of of wisdom he's our creator he's creating this he's creating it for you and he has a specific plan for you he has a specific strategy for you so this is where you have to tap into your personal relationship with jesus christ if you don't have a personal relationship with jesus christ you can't expect you know someone else to give you all of the the plans the action plans the you know the strategy because it's 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 not going to happen it's going to come from god itself and that's not to say that you won't encounter uh that god won't send you dreams because he will send you dreams he's going to send you dreams for some people visions he, he was probably even see, send people prophets to confirm a word but when a prophet comes along and they give you a word at that point god already revealed revealed to you in your spirit what to do and it's just coming as a confirmation let me see what else i wrote down um you're going to have to take the seed God is going to give you and invest it in assets. Okay, so again, it's going to be an initial great harvest that we're about to receive in the couple in the next couple of months, and next six months, the next year. But then with that, you're going to have to start investing and multiplying that money, right? Um, like I said in my prior video with the famine on the land, you must ask God for the strategy. Everybody's strategy will look different. I recommend that you go through a time of fasting and prayer over this word and ask God for wisdom and the strategy. Uh, this is a lifelong journey, y'all. Uh, and let me say this. Again, this money is going to be given to us to um, just expand the body of Christ, to help other people out, to draw people closer to us. So it's no, it's not all about the money. It's not all about us. However, God loves us. He wants to give us the desires of our heart. He wants us to be, you know, full of joy and to receive the, the things that God has rested on our spirit to take trips to buy properties you know God is good I love what David said in Psalms 27 he said I am confident of this I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living the blessings of the Lord it just hasn't been stored up you know in heaven that's why we pray uh, our kingdom, your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. We're not supposed to be living this life just like, oh, you know, I want to live in poverty. Oh, we shouldn't, you know, purchase cars. We, we shouldn't, you know, have nice homes. We shouldn't have that. That's a poverty spirit. And I'm buying that in the name of Jesus. That is a poverty spirit. God wants us to enjoy nice things in the land of the living. It also says... In First Timothy chapter 6, it says, God gives us richly all things to enjoy. So don't feel ashamed. Don't feel some type of way that one of the desires of your heart is to have nice things and to live a nice life and to be able to you know give back to your children and put your, your have money enough to put your children through college and have money enough to be able to start a new business and have money enough to be able to give to the poor. How do you think the work is going to be done? The money is going to be a tool in which we advance the kingdom of God. And along the, along the way, God is giving us a reward. If you grow back and you read all, you know, all these stories in the Old Testament, one that comes to mind is the story of Moses. And when he liberated the people, that's a word. When he liberated the people... It, this was what he really was trying to liberate. But unfortunately, because a lot of people didn't receive the word, they weren't able to go into the promised land. But they weren't in the wilderness poor. I know a lot of movies depict them leaving with just like, you know, a couple of rags. You know, they had a couple of rags. They left with the riches of Egypt. 
they left with the gold and the silver and the rubies and the and the garments, the the the, the royal garments of of the Egypt. So even along the journey, God gave them an initial seed. And how did they sow their seed? They sowed their seed by making an idol out of it. And God doesn't want us to make an idol out of it. No. But along the journey, he wants us to be able to partake in all of his greatness and all of his prosperity. And what is he going to do? He's going to open up another door and we're going to step into our inheritance, which is that land full of milk and honey, the promised land. So don't beat yourself up because you want nice things and you want to enjoy all these nice things in the land of the living. God put that desire in your heart there for a reason. And it is time for it to be activated. God has an open heaven for us right now. And for all who believe and receive, you are about to get your blessing. And the first thing is you got to even receive this word. If you can't even receive this word, then that's a problem right there. All right, so I don't even know if I addressed the question. I, because I feel like I just, sometimes I just go all the way. Forgive me. Well, anyway, I, I hope that answered the question. Again, I, I don't have all the answers. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just coming each week, you know, trying to give you what the Lord has, has placed on my heart to give you. But again, it's going to look different for everybody. I mean, so for everybody's not going to just get a, a ten million lump sum in their account next week. <laughs> That's not how it's going <laughs> to. That is, which will be lovely. I receive, but that's not how it's going to happen. It's going to, everybody's going to have different amounts of money and it's all going to come in, in different ways. And again, that's up to um, the Holy Spirit to reveal that to you. But I, I am here as a messenger to, to tell you that it is taking place and it's taking place soon. Our inheritance is near. Uh, so I hope this blessed you and I have to go, but I want to say that uh, I love you. But God loves you more. Be blessed.